Hi, welcome back to Elizabeth Ann Reads. I'm Anne, and today we're doing a July TBR. I have not been doing TBRs this year. I am very much a mood reader, and I just find that it wasn't working. So I stopped, and my reading has absolutely exploded since I've stopped, because I no longer feel pressure to read certain things each month. I don't really intend to start doing TBRs regularly again, but I did want to do one for July for a couple different reasons. Um, one, July is my birthday month, and I want to read all the things, but there are some kind of bigger things that I want to tackle in July, so I do want to have a little bit of accountability for those things. Um, plus, the reading rush happens in July, so I have my TBR for the reading rush as well. Um, and yeah, there's still a lot of room for fluidity and changes in my plans. I'm not going to be mad if I don't end up reading these things. Um, it's a very loose TBR, but let's just get into the books. So let's start with my Reading Rush TBR, because some of you may be here just for that and don't care about the rest. Um, so I will link all the information for the Reading Rush below, just in case you don't know what it is, but it is a week where you just read as much as you can. There are seven prompts, so let's go through those. The first prompt is to read a book that matches the color of your birthstone. I already said I'm born in July. My birthstone is the ruby, which is red, which is also my favorite color, so that works out well. But for that, I picked um, Every Note Played by Lisa Genova. This is, I think it has to do with a concert pianist who gets ill, I think, and loses the ability to play. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it's fairly short. It's one I've wanting, been wanting to read for a while, and I really love the cover, not just because it's red, but I, I do like that aspect of it, too. So that is my plan for that prompt. Again, this is three weeks away. This could all change by the time it rolls around, but this is the plan right now. The second prompt is to read a book that starts with the word the. So I have The Night of Wishes by Michael End. Michael End is more well-known for The NeverEnding Story. Um, and this is, he only has a few books that have been translated into English, only three that I could find, and I've read The Never Ending Story and Momo, the other one, but I haven't read this one yet, um, and so I picked up a copy just a month or two ago, and it, I'm sure it's some weird, fantastical something, but I thought that would be a good one to mix in the stack for the reading rush. The third prompt is to read a book, um, to read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. So for that, I'm going way back to childhood, and I'm going to read Bambi. I found this old copy a while back, and I haven't read through it yet. Um, and I saw Bambi when I was little, not recently. Um, but I thought this would be a good time to knock this one off my shelf. The fourth prompt is to read the first book you touch. I, when I was looking at my stack, I decided I wanted a reread in there. So I pulled off several books that I was interested in rereading, and then I had my mom rearrange the stack for me, and I closed my eyes and picked one, and ended up with Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I'm sure you know what this is, but it deals with um, a future where um, life in a lot of ways revolves around video games. So um, this will be great. It's a quick read, and I've been wanting to pick it up again for a while now, so that'll be good. The fifth prompt is to read a book completely outside. I have not picked a book for this prompt yet because it's wide open. I can pick anything I want. Um, I may do like an audiobook while I take walks or something. I'm just not sure yet. So I'm going to leave, leave that one up to kind of my mood of the moment when we get there. So that's still open to picking. Um, prompt six is to um, pick something in a genre that you want to read more of. Um, I decided to go with a graphic novel. I have not had good luck with graphic novels in the past. Um, until this year when I found a few that I've really, really enjoyed. So I want to keep trying and figure out more what my style is, what it is that I like and don't like in graphic novels. So I picked up Day Tripper by Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba. This, I think, has to do with... Man, I think it has to do something with reliving the same day or getting the days out of order or something dealing with the timeline. A messed up timeline, which I love books that deal with that. And technically, I said graphic novel. Technically, I think this is a bind up of comics. Um, but anyway, 
Day Tripper. That's what I'm going with. I'll tell you more about it when I read it and know more about it. And then the last prompt is to read a book set on a continent other than the one that you live on. I live in North America. So I pulled a middle grade novel, Cartwheeling in Thunderstorms by Catherine Rundell. And I believe this is set both in Africa and in England. Um, so I'm hitting two different continents. Um, and I think this has to do with a girl who was born and raised in Africa, but then ends up being sent to a boarding school in England. Um, so like I said, it's middle grade. I think that'll be a good, a, a good choice to mix in for the week. So that is my Reading Rush TBR. The other books I'm for sure getting to in the month of July. The first is The Constant Rabbit by Jasper Ford. This one comes out July 2nd. This book could potentially throw a wrench in my Reading Rush plans because I'm going to read it as soon as I get it. It's only being released in the UK July 2nd, um, so I'll, I'm, I'll have to wait for my copy to come, which usually takes a couple weeks. Um, so I'm hoping it comes like the week before the Reading Rush and I can read it then. But if it doesn't, then it will replace something else in the stack. It can be the red cover. It could be the book that starts with the. Um, it could be the one set on a different continent. Um, but that is my number one priority for the month is The Constant Rabbit. Jasper Ford is my favorite author. So whenever he releases a new book, that shoots right to the top of the priority list. So as soon as this book comes in the mail, I will be picking it up. The other for sure things I'm going to be reading this month is The Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with Rainy from Rainy Day Reads. And this, I don't know much about it, but it has to do with the bookshop and I believe it's set in Scotland. And it just sounds like a cozy summer happy read, which sounds lovely right now. So I'll be picking that up for sure. The other thing for sure that I'm going to get to this month is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. I have been on a huge Sanderson kick lately. I read The Way of Kings in May and then I read Warbreaker in June. And now we're continuing on with Words of Radiance. So that's a big priority too. There's a lot of other things that are kind of floating around in my mind as things I would like to pick up. But the only two I'm going to mention, because they're probably the two top priorities of the, the top priorities of the non-prioritized books, if that makes sense. Um, but the two that are most grabbing my attention now, again, that could change three days from now. Um, the first is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I feel like this is a book everyone knows about and almost everyone has read, except me. Um, I've had it sitting on my shelf for a couple of years now and really would like to read it. So that's one that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to, I'm going to try and get to in July. And the other is The Wild Girl by Kate Forsyth. Kate Forsyth is an author I've long been wanting to try and just the opportunity hasn't come up yet or I've just not taken it. She writes, as far as I know, kind of gothic, fairy tale esque type stories. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll give this one a try. And again, I'll tell you more about it when I've read it. There's a lot of other things that are kind of floating around in my mind for the month. I'm probably going to try and do some vlogging. We'll kind of see how it goes. But yes, those are my kind of the outline of my plans for July. Of course, I'm hoping to read, you know, all the books in July, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, let me know if you are participating in the reading rush or what you're planning on reading in the month of July. I would love to know. Thank you for watching.